Hello everybody and happy birthday to everybody born on September 1st today. If you know anybody born today, please share this video with them. Um, I'm going to do a little mini reading for um, the year ahead for you guys. Um, if anybody wants a comprehensive astrological reading that's um, personal and very complex, um, just go click on my website and you there's information there how to obtain that. Anyway, so I'm going to read up some traits and that what I do think of the people born on September 1st and then get on with the reading. Um, people born today are usually very ambitious and career oriented with an intense desire for success and recognition. You guys are born professional. You combine a meticulous eye for detail with wholehearted enthusiasm for your projects. You are considerably less patient than other Virgos. You're more likely to act now and think about it a little later. Um, your forte is coming up with innovative ideas and making them um, work on a commercial type of level. Although you're more confident and self-motivated than many of your sun sign counterparts, you are not nearly as certain of your own talents and abilities as you appear. So there's that underlining, you know, insecurity. Don't we all have, though? <laughs> um, you guys tend to be perfectionists clever-minded and sharp-tongued. Once involved in a course of action, you pursue it with total commitment. However, you do not suffer fools gladly and can be downright intolerant of anyone who is not as competent and dedicated as you. Um, you've been blessed with sound business judgment and regularly picking up on things that others tend to miss. Full of good advice, well-intentioned criticism, you rarely hesitate before letting others know what you think of their efforts. Um, there is a sense of impulsive, uh, impulsiveness with you guys that you can rush um, headlong into intimate relationships. Um, usually cautious Virgos, um, you, most Virgos are very cautious and think twice about that. You tend to be a little different and head into it. Um, in love, you are very affectionate and attentive, and you show how much you care by being helpful and dependable. So that's some of the traits for um, most people born September 1st. Anyway, um, I'm going to pull a card from this deck, which will show the prominent, um, the prominent, um, sign ahead for the year. Oh, and you can't, you got Libra. There you go. Libra. Well, Libra is a, um, that is okay. Libra is the natural ruler of the seventh house, which pertains to a relationship, partnerships, marriages, business partnerships, stuff like that. And it is your ruler of the, that is the ruler of your second house. So, um, um, you're going to be looking at areas in the second house. Um, Libra, what, I forgot to say also, Libra is showing that it could be um, they're prominent figures in the year ahead for you. So Libra type people, this could be your mother, father, brother, sister, people you already know, people coming into your life. It could be a new love partner. It could be business associates, or you could be just drawn to these people and them to you this year. They can hinder you or help you out. So that's what it's kind of saying. And also any aspects in the sign of Libra and, um, seventh or second house, um, should be uh, probably will be affecting you prominently during the year ahead. And now we're going to pull a prominent sign, uh, not sign, planet and house for the year ahead. And you got the sun, the sun. That's beautiful. Okay. So the sun, the natural ruler of the sun is the, um, is Leo. And that is the natural or the fifth house for you Virgos. That is your 12th house. So what we're looking at is any aspects the sun makes in 12th houses and the fifth house is very prom it should be prominent and affect you the most this year. Now when we're looking at the sun in the 12th house basically which is running for you is it's telling me that um you may be working very hard behind the scenes. Um doing projects behind the scenes, working very hardly. You're kind of under the radar and what seems what you're working hard on and that will come to above the radar later and probably um, be very successful and make you popular. So that is basically one thing the way it will go. So it's just saying that those areas will make um, a profound effect on you guys during the year. And each time the sun 
moves into another sign, they're going to make profound effects on you too, according to the cards. Now we're going to pull a tarot card to see what the year ahead theme is. And you got the King of Wands. Wow. So that kind of correlates with the sun energy in your 12th house. It's saying all these ideas or projects or things, he's kind of being alone, uh, keeping to yourself under the radar, working hard behind the scenes. And then, you know, flourishing by the end of the year with these great ideas or great projects and probably making it your own. This is a fire sign too. So we're looking at you becoming uh, most, you can really make some, headway doing projects and, and things or working behind the scenes and then coming to above the, the horizon through the year. So this looks really good. And I'm going to pull a special card just for today to see how your birthday's going. Little gift for you guys. Knight of Wands. Wow, that's beautiful. This is new things coming in. Um, exciting things today. It is your birthday. So, you know, enjoy it. Meet new people. Um, getting together with people. Um, ideas just bouncing off new things, new, uh, new beginnings. It's a new uh, solar year for you. So this is good too. Oh, I really like your reading. So anyway, most of all, have a great birthday. Enjoy yourself. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I um, uh, wish you guys have a, a beautiful birthday. And may all your wishes come true. And it looks like you have, a, according to the cards, a great year ahead. So enjoy yourself. Bye.